it's like it, it, it's it's I have to do this. I couldn't I couldn't not. I mean, it is obviously extraordinary what you're doing because most people usually turn away from the pains of life, but you are facing it head on to help to help to help these kids because they otherwise they're doing it alone i mean and it's also for the ch for the families of the children you know the children sure they suffer horrendously but the families suffer as much for sure as much and so it's important to give them all this special moment because that's something that they'll always treasure hopefully they'll always remember it as being the good time because all, most of the time they're having to suffer They've either got treatment or they don't feel well, and there's no, there's no good times. So we give them that good time. And, and I, th I, I, I think it's important. I mean, uh, if people come to our website, you can see the different, uh, the guest book and what people write. It's really special. If you experience a wish, it's very different from imagining what a wish is like, because you can't imagine it, actually. You know, some people say, oh, I don't want to do this. I'm going to be too affected. But it is a huge, it's a huge thrill to yeah. do it. What kind of things are they wishing for? There's generally about four categories that we deal with. There's um, I want to be, so I want to be a princess, I want to be a pilot, we have pilots. I want to be, what else? Um, I want to be a policeman. The policeman. Policeman, exactly. Our the last one that started it all. Exactly. We did one a couple of weeks ago here to celebrate World Wish Day, which is the, the anniversary of this first wish. It was on April the 29th. So we actually had a police little boy, eight years old, who wanted to be a policeman. And thanks to the Istanbul police force, because they were amazing, we had... We had the, the, the Yunus policeman, the dolphin, well, it doesn't make sense in English, ones, yeah. the dol <laughs> dolphin, dolphin. Well, the ones on bikes. Exactly, yeah. the, the very handsome ones on bikes. And we had uh, a whole bunch of normal policemen and we had the air policemen too. And they basically stopped the traffic and this child raced up with sirens flashing all the way up to tax him and he, we did a scenario, we made a movie for him. And it was just brilliant.
Karşıda yaşlı Karşıda bir tane bir teyze var. Karşıda bir yaşlı teyze var. Geçmeye çalışıyor. Amazing. So that's one, one thing is to be somebody. Then it can be I wish to have, which in Turkey is unfortunately the majority. The children wish to possess something. Right. Because their economic situation is usually fairly low um, and they don't, they want something that it's material. They want to hold on to it. So it's bedrooms, laptops, playstations and stuff like that. Right. A laptop or a... You know, computer seems such a little thing, but it to makes a huge difference to them. It, it does. To you and me, a laptop might seem a little thing uh, because we're grown up now. But for children who have to spend a long time in hospital mm -hmm. and they're not allowed out, a laptop is a lifesaver because it gives them an, uh, you know, a window to the world. However, it's not for me, it's still not the dream. Right. The dream is I want to go in a hot air balloon, or I want to see Harry Potter, I want to go to China, or I want to do these crazy things, or I want to be a princess, that's pretty good, you yeah. know. And we really do make them princesses, and they go to palaces, and they have a prince next to them, and you know, all that, all that stuff. But I do understand also how where they come from. So after that, there's also I wish to go. So I wish to go uh, somewhere in the world. We know we had one I wish I wished to see the bottom of the sea. So we took the girl to Egypt and she went in a submarine and she saw the bottom of the sea. Really? Yeah. I wanted actually to make her do some scuba diving, but right. the doctor said no. Uh. <laughs> I tried, I tried. Well, maybe after she gets better. Exactly, exactly. And then, hang on a second, it's I wish to go, I wish to be, I wish, I wish to, have. to have, and I wish, oh, of course, I, I wish to meet. To meet. <laughs> And we get quite a lot of those because a lot of the children wish to meet the footballers, they wish to meet the pop stars, the groups, um, the famous actresses, actors and things like that. So we have those. And thanks to, uh, I have to say, Turkish celebrities are ace. They are really excellent. They, they never let us down. They always support us. That is great. You know, we, they, they go out of their way to help us, which is really special, really special. So we're very, very grateful. How do people get involved? How can they help? Well, there's two ways of being involved. Well, there's lots of ways, but really the two main ways is you can be a volunteer to the charity. And volunteering isn't necessarily just wish granting. Obviously, the main, um, our main job is to grant wishes, but we need volunteers on every level. We need volunteers in the office, we need volunteers for website work, we need volunteers in everything. So what people do is they go onto our website, which is www.makeawish.org.tr, T-R, or makeawishbeardelectut.org, um, and where it says 
I'm not sure if we're actually up and running in English yet, but we are, we, we are nearly, nearly, nearly there. But in Turkish, it would say, which is, I want to be a volunteer. So they press on that and fill out their details, and then we get back to them. Because to be a volunteer for wish granting, we do have a two-hour training, which everybody has to go through right. before they're allowed to go on wishes. And we never send um, inexperienced wish granters on their own. Every, there always is an experienced volunteer with an inexperienced one to, so that everybody has the confidence to do it. So, but then obviously there is work that can be done in the office and we always need help there. We need, you know, special experience. If people have specialities that they're good at, then that's great for us. Right. Um, we need money. You know, there's no way that a charity can, can actually function if it doesn't have volunteers and if it doesn't have money. You know, I could have a million volunteers and not one penny in the bank. I can't make the work thing work. I could have a million dollars in the bank and not one volunteer. I still can't make it work. So it's finding a balance between them. But we're forever, you know, if we had lots more money, we would be able to do lots more wishes. It's as simple as that. But of course, it's expensive, you know, it's expensive to do this. We have the, you know, we have staff because we need to have staff to run this properly. It all costs money. Do a lot of children uh, apply? What is it, let's say, in one year, how many people apply? Um, at the moment, at the moment, let me put it this way, at the moment we are granting on average 20 to 25 wishes a month. Wow, that is a lot. Um, it's nothing compared to what we could do if we had the funds, really, because there's a, there unfortunately are enough children out there to keep us way busier, way busier. So we would love to do more, but there's a limit. We just cannot do it. So, um, so I, you know, one of the tasks that we have to do in the office, apart from granting wishes, is fundraising and building up corporate sponsorships and uh, supporters, I would say. Um, so we try to do a lot with companies because we believe that we're a very good social responsibility project to be involved with. You know, we have international access. Our, our turnover of what we do is very quick. There's wishes happening all the time. Mm -hmm. So, and we believe that we're a good project to work with. So we work with companies a lot. And we also work, we are trying to appeal to the public. Um, on, our next thing is to try to get the public to give us on a regular basis. Not just give us once off, right. but every month. Albeit a little, what we're saying is even 50 cents, if 50 kuruş is enough, but regularly. Right. Because then we know what we're going to have, so we can plan to do more and more. I hope that every day it will grow and grow. What you're doing is amazing. Carol, really? Well, it's a small little thing that we do, but it can be, it, it has a huge effect, and that's what's important for us, is to help these children. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk Thank with us. Thank you for having me. <laughs> that was Carol Hakko. I am Biril Alhadef. See you next time on Women of Turkey.